All right, new at five, we are seeing the body camera video of a Flagler County woman's arrest after being pulled over and accused of putting Easter eggs and pornographic pamphlets in people's mailboxes. The sheriff's office says she works at Publix and delivered close to 400 of these graphic images. News Six's Lauren Korn details why the woman says she was doing this. Can I see one of those pamphlets you feel like? In my career, this is a pretty bizarre case. That's 42-year-old Avril Sestoni, who deputies say is the woman behind the mysterious pornographic and religious-filled Easter eggs that popped up inside dozens of mailboxes since last week. Uh, last night, we started getting calls again in a different part of Palm Coast, the same M.O. Once deputies pulled her over, they say she admitted to leaving her job at Publix early so she could distribute over 400 pamphlets in four days like this one here. Deputies say she also stuffed the eggs with a few squares of toilet paper, a goldfish cracker, and some Skittles. So why are you doing that? That's what we're trying to do. Well, at. explain to the church why they're not speaking to I. Because okay. something happened to I in related to God. So she certainly has a, uh, uh, a bizarre, uh, almost zealous uh, opinion of churches and what they should believe in and how they should uh, teach the teachings of the Bible. Sheriff Rick Staley says not only did she commit a crime along with violating the stay at home order, but this could have been a health risk. We don't know if somebody uh, had uh, COVID 19 and was purposely uh, putting this material out, uh, or they could be asymptomatic, don't know they have it and putting things out that they know people are going to open and touch. Deputies arrested an argumentative Sistoni Come right on. on the spot. Can you just give me a break? As she promised to never to distribute again. the materials again. Well, I would hope not now that you know that it's a crime. Sistoni is facing 11 counts of distributing obscene material, driving with a suspended license, and violating the stay-at-home order. Deputies say she could be facing even more charges. In Flagler County, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.